previously on Villa's portrait. I'm killing two birds with one stone here. And the thing I'm doing right now, this is to speed up my drawing process guys. I use my pencil to boost and I use my eraser to pull my object and transform it from a 2D plane into a somewhat 3D looking object. Sounds like a witcher, yeah? Hello again guys, welcome to my another episode of real-time pencil drawing. So this is a portrait of Willa Holland, who plays as Thea Queen in Nero, my favorite TV series. In this episode, I'm going to focus on the mouth part. So previously, I have finished her eyes, nose, and I want to complete all of the facial features as soon as possible. Well, facial features are the trickiest thing to draw, right? Especially mouth. You can have many expressions with the mouth, like smiling, smirking, grinning. They all depict different kind of emotions, and they are all in different shapes, right? So I think it's very important to get this part done correctly, guys. If we can capture the expression in our drawing, then I'm afraid the portrait will look lifeless. Well, I don't say I love drawing mouth. To be honest, I don't like drawing it at all. It's difficult to get the expression right, but I have to draw it anyway. Unless, uh, trust me, we wouldn't want to turn this portrait into some kind of spiritual, extraterrestrial, spooky Halloween ghost thingy now, would we? So, my number one advice to get the mouth part done correctly is to measure, measure, and measure. Always measure twice and cut once. And always measure from your trusty reference point, guys. For me, I always measure my drawing from the corner of the model side. So I always try to measure from this very same spot when measuring things like nose, mouth, jaw, pretty much anything, surely. And I always try to make as few reference points as possible. Now, this is important, guys as few reference points as possible. So what I'm saying is, if you try to measure from another reference point, there is always a greater chance that you will miscalculate. So let's say you measure from point A to point B, but you miss it like 1 millimeter or something. Then if you measure from point B to C, of course it won't be accurate. And if you continue measuring from C to D, then it would just get worse. So measure correctly guys, and from as few points as possible to minimize miscalculation. And another tip is, try to render the surrounding area guys, not just the upper lip and the bottom lip. The surrounding area too has shadows. The corner of the mouth, it's not a sharp point guys. It has soft smooth transition from the lip onto the skin area. And don't forget about the shadow below the bottom lip, unless you want your mouth looks floating. I see many many times, and I think this is a beginner mistake. Mouth is part of the bigger muscle around your lips. So if your lips move, then the muscle around it will have different shapes and you will render it differently. So it's best to develop the surrounding area at the same time as you're drawing the lips. And my last tip is not to give up guys, keep trying, keep revising your drawing. Well, I do hope my drawing can fix itself if I just keep staring at it for a whole month. But obviously it's not going to happen. So start working on it and believe that the more work and time you give it, the better it will look. In fact, I don't think I will finish the mouth in this one episode. Just under 45 to 15 minutes? Bloody hell. Am I a magician now? <laughs> okay, so that's it guys. I'm going to continue my drawing silence now. Don't forget, if you want to speed up the video, 
YouTube has the playback speed feature. So talk again later and don't forget to hit the sub and like button guys. I really appreciate all of your support for this channel guys.
Okay, so I think that's it for today's episode, guys. Still, there are so many things to do, and these facial features aren't finished yet. I'm still planning to refine it more and clean the sharp edges, so the form looks more defined, but I'll do it later, when the face is almost complete. So I think next episode, that would be rendering the jawline, cheek, and perhaps I'll do some of the hair part, so it looks more like Villa. So you guys better hit the sub button, or otherwise you will miss it. And don't forget the thumbs up or comment down below, and see you guys on the next episode.